Hey there, what's up enthusiasts? Welcome back to another video on a series of WhatsApp bot. I am going to show you how to create your very own WhatsApp bot. And the best part is it won't cost you. But before we dive into the nitty gritty of building your WhatsApp bot, I have got a couple of things to ask from you. Firstly, if you find this video helpful, entertaining or even remotely interesting, please hit that like button below. It really helps us out, let us know you are enjoying the content. Secondly, don't forget to drop a comment down there, share your thoughts, questions or any suggestions you might have. And of course, if you haven't already consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing the notification bell, that way you will never miss any of our exciting tech tutorials just like this one. Lastly, we have got a fantastic community on both Telegram and WhatsApp. Join our groups from description or comment box to connect with fellow tech enthusiasts. Get exclusive updates and even participate in discussion related to today's video topic. Do not skip the video. Let's see the tutorial. First of all, open any browser and you will get this bot GitHub repository in this video description. Copy the link and paste it in your browser. After coming to this page, you have to click on three dots and go to desktop site as shown in this video. Now click on fork to fork this repository. This is mandatory to fork this repository. Now click on create fork. Now you can remove the desktop site. Now the step 2 is you have to scan the QR code. Click on scan QR code. Now click on this button and wait for some time. After that, open your WhatsApp and click on three dots, click on link device and link a device. Now scan the QR code. After scanning this code, you will receive a JSON file. In your own number. Save these JSON files somewhere in your phone. After saving, go back to GitHub repository and click on view code. Now click on three dots and upload files. Now upload that file you received while scaling the QR code. Upload this hubby.data.json file. Now click on commit changes. Now scroll down and click on config.js. And if you want to edit your bot name, mobile number, owner name, etc., you can edit here. After editing, click on commit changes, click on commit change again and save it. Now click on Abisex sir. Scroll down and you will see here there are so many platforms to host your boat. Some are paid while some are free of cost. We will go for railway that is completely free of cost. 
So click on deploy railway. First of all you have to sign up here. Now click on two line in the right corner. Click on login. Now you have to login with GitHub to use it free. Click on I agree with. Click on I will not deploy any of that. Don't worry, it's completely free here. You need not to choose any plan. Now your railway account is all set up. Now again go back to your GitHub repo. Click on deploy railway. Click on deploy from GitHub. GitHub repo. Click on configure GitHub app. Now click on only select a repository and select your repository which you want to deploy. Now we give you a password here and confirm. Now again click on deploy from GitHub repo. Select this given repository. Click on deploy now. Now you have to wait for some time to complete the deployment process. Here actually it got error because in railway they have banned these words white t-shirts and YTDL core. Now go back to your GitHub repository and click on package.json file. Now scroll down. You have to remove these words. So click on three dots and click on edit in place and remove these two lines as shown in video. You have to remove these two lines completely. After removing, click on the changes and save it. Now click on. Click on deploy then. Click on deploy from GitHub repo, select your repository, click on deploy now. Now it will take time to deploy, you have to wait for at least 3 to 4 minutes. Don't make any changes here. For now, I am showing you logs of this process. You need not to do this. Just wait here. Now you can see 
The bot has been deployed successfully. Now let's test the bot.